Valentine's. Happy Valentine to everyone out there. Let's go in your reading. This is the weekly reading for the Aquarians. And remember that this week, ooh, Aquarians, a message came out. Oh, Aquarians. Whatever deceptiveness that was going on is going to be coming out this week. So be aware and be ready for this, Aquarian. The deceptiveness is now out and uh, they have been caught. So whatever that you were going through, Aquarians, um, it came, it just flipped out. Whatever the deceptiveness that people around you was doing or trying to do is now out. So this is going to be beautiful. It's the week of Valentine's. Oh, I love you guys. There's so many messages that is coming out. So I see the energy of the 10 of pentacles came out in the reverse Aquarians. So whatever is transpiring, I see this flipped out in the reverse um, for you guys. I see a judgment call is coming down. So um, whatever that was transpiring and happening, because the center of your reading is deceptiveness, but it was caught in time. I see the energy of the lovers. So happy Valentine's. You and your partner is going to be good. I see a balance is coming up here. So whatever that was transpiring between you and your husband or wife, I see a balance and I see you're going to be successful coming out of some deceptiveness that was going on around you. So this is good. So some of you could be finding out that your partner is cheating in this week. Okay. And if you're in a relationship with a Pisces, Cancer or a Scorpion, you're going to be finding out that your partner has been cheating. There is going to be a whole lot of conflicts that is going on. This is in the basis of your reading Aquarians that um, they have found out something. So if you are married, you're going to be, um, if you're married, you're going to be finding out that your um, partner has been cheating or there has been someone else because I see a judgment call and a judgment call and a lot of conflicts is happening. So um, deceptiveness, judgment call, a lot is happening with the lovers. I see people are going to be finding out that people have been cheating. Okay. Um, I see some of you are going to find balance to deal with a deceptive situation, um, with your partner. Okay. So you're going to be finding out something because the sun came out and is as if your partner could be lying to you about some money and you're going to be finding this out. Uh, um, so it's as if they were saying, yeah, they don't have any money or, um, they could be saying, yeah, I have to go out of town, um, for business and it's not true. They're going to see someone else. So that sort of a situation is coming up. I see you're really going to be having some conflicts with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion or with your partner and it's all about money. So let's go in and see what is coming up for. So for the 10 of pentacles, I see you weren't seeing a situation with some money and now it's going to be clear in this week. So it could be that someone was hiding some money. It could, it's coming up as a partner because the energy of love is there and it has to do with, uh, um, someone who you live with. It could have been your romantic partner that you live with was not being very honest about some money. And this is uh, definitely going to be coming out. I see a judgment call and heartbreak. So definitely some of you are going to be finding out that your partner has been cheating on you because I see a judgment call and heartbreaks. I see the energy of a lot of deceptive people around you. They try to pull something off, but it didn't happen. So when the energy of judgment comes out, it's all about positive or negative energies. And it has to do with, there was some deceptive lies and deceptiveness and your enemies, a judgment call came down on your enemies and you're going to be finding that out and it's going to bring heartbreak. But you're going to be finding out a deceptive move that they tried to do, but it didn't work out. I see the four of swords. I see some of you are having issues with your partner. You need to take rest. You need to take time off. I see you're trying to make a decision about this person. You could be 
um, deciding to divorce or in a relationship. I see you're, um, you know, trying to figure out, should I divorce? Should I end this relationship? Because whatever has transpired, I see you found out. It's as if your enemy tried to create some things to let you find out that your partner has not been honest. So I see truths is going to be coming out. I see you're going to be standing your ground, speaking your truth. And um, whatever comes out, I see you're going to be turning your back and walking away from this person. I see you're going to definitely turn your back and walk away from this person or, or this situation. But it's coming up as a person because you found out that they lie and deceive you, okay? So I see you protecting yourself and you're going to be very, very... Um, you're protecting yourself, you're standing grounds and you're protecting yourself and you're going to be very successful. So, and I see that you could be standing your ground and protecting your partner, your children from a deceptive situation that has transpired. It could come up as your kids because what is transpiring is that when you look at the, the over, um, the opposite of what is happening is that family and money and lies and deceptiveness so i see you're kind of like protecting your kids because if you found out that your husband or your partner has been cheating lying and cheating this is what is definitely coming up so you're going to be protecting your kids so then i see the energy of justice comes down on a pisces cancer or a scorpion for doing something deceptive so whoever this person is I see that a Pisces Cancer and Scorpion and an Aries Leo or Sagittarius has done some deceptive situation and I see they have been caught. So it could be that you're in a relationship with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius or um, you're in a relationship with a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion and uh, um, they have been caught doing something. It could be that they were cheating on you or... Uh, however, this situation, they have been caught because I see justice coming down on them and there could be a legal situation. Again, we see you ladies having some conflicts because and ladies 50 years and older, you're having some conflicts because your enemies or um, people who you thought were your friend um, 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 let you fall. And here I see you're having conflicts with people in power and you're standing your ground. And I see that new love is going to be coming in. For the people who are looking um, for new love, I see new love is going to be coming in. It's right under the energy of the sun. I see that some of you multiple um, suitors are going to be coming in for you guys. And this is going to be good. Whatever is happening in this week, ladies 50 years and older, it is really not looking, um, um, this week is not really a positive week for you. And the reason because of this is because there was some deceptive um, situation on the part of uh, your husband or, uh, or yourself because I see um, some of you standing up against uh, um, people who have been using their powers because there's a lot of conflicts in the base of your week. There's a lot of conflicts and um, some of you are going to be realizing that people in power or an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius between the ages of 18 and 45 has used their power and I see a situation where some of you are going to be having conflicts with a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpion Whoever this person is and whatever is transpired, some of you could be having some conflicts with a Leo and I see they're taking down this Leo because they realize the lies and deceptiveness of this Leo. I see people in power is seeing that this Leo has been deceptive and they're taking down this Leo. As we look here, we see that some of you are going to be finding out um that maybe your children has got themselves in some legal issue and it is created by an Aries Leo or Sagittarius who have collaborate with your kids to get them in some um deceptive issue but I see that some of you also could have put out an investigation an investigator on your partner and uh, um you they, you put out an investigator on your partner to follow your partner and to see either your husband 
or your wife to see what they have been doing and i see the truth is going to be coming out and you are going to turn your back you know you're going to be leaving this person in their deceptive thing because i see you making a decision um to hide a divorce or cut or end a relationship with with you and because there's some heartbreaks so some of you could have felt as if your partner wasn't being honest and this week is coming up to say you know you were right on the money your partner wasn't honest you were right on the money um and i see that you're taking time off for yourself and then you are going to be speaking up and saying i don't want to be with you because of this and i see some of you if you're having an issue with a leo you're going to be successful over this leo and their partner because they have been lying and deceiving i see you standing your ground i see the energy of the sun is coming up where you're standing your ground and protecting your family from a deceptive situation there is legal issues a lot of you especially women 50 years and older are definitely going to be having some legal issues some of you are in the reverse i see some of you might have to be um looking through and um and picking up and realizing some deceptiveness that has moved i see that some of you have to let go because the energy of uh, um, some emotions the six uh, some of you are having some emotional situation with friends and these friends has to do with an Aries Leo and a Sagittarius or a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion and this emotional situation that you're having with these people is that you're finding out that maybe your best friend or a friend that you know or um, connecting with your partner so this is really a week where lies and deceptiveness comes out and i see you're dealing with a situation with a judgment call on your enemies you you were heartbroken and a judgment call and i see that some of you is as if they are going to be creating these things so you find out that your partner isn't being honest so i see some of you is like other people it's like your enemies or your girlfriend that you haven't spoken to or don't have anything to do with is going to make sure to let you know and let you see that your partner has not been honest okay so that's coming up let go is here um and they're saying release the past um and the past challenges okay liberate yourself from the lies and deceptiveness from your partner your husband or wife let it go endings are arid and new beginnings are going to be coming up because the ace of cups is here so um a relationship some lies and deceptiveness in a relationship and i see you're ending this this relationship could be have to do with a leo if you're connected to with a leo be aware of this leo in this week because you're going to be finding out the truth about this leo um because that's the energy that is coming up and I see a lot of you are going to be speaking your truth and just letting go, moving away and moving forward in the future and leaving whatever the deceptiveness behind you. So let go is one of the energies that is going to be coming up um, for you guys because of a deceptive relationship. I see new love is coming in. I see the helper of thoughts is here for you guys. Your life is about to start moving very fast. Event that seems to be on hold suddenly requires all your attention. There is no time to sit still and ponder. You have got to get moving. Review the details as best as you can. You now will meet someone who is very quick minded, which could be another Aquarian, a Gemini or a Libran. This person is both confident and courageous. So these are your extended message. You have three extended message and these are about emotions, about letting go. And you go, you're going to be having someone who is going to be helping you that is going to be coming in and saying to you, it doesn't serve any purpose, you know, anymore. And it's as if they wanted you to really know exactly what was transpired in your relationship and that people weren't being very honest because i see that some of you and i see it three times four the angel what i'm looking is that some of you have friends that is pisces cancer scorpion aries leo sagittarius 
and these people are not really nice so you got to be aware of what you're doing because you're going to be finding out i just need to see what is happening so the 10 of pentacles has to do with family money and a house so and seeing the truth of this situation where you're going to be finding out that if you have an issue with a house and a situation with a house that you're going to be making a decision because it's as if um you need your money out of the house you could be getting divorced however this is transpiring i see you're going to be making a decision about this house okay so number two seems to be coming in play for you guys then the heartbreaks has to do with your materialistic stability because there is a lot of jealousy around you i see a judgment call is going to be coming down but the empress is going to be coming in to help you because you know there's a lot of heartbreaks uh, with your materialistic stability for some of you now i see that a marriage is definitely um you're going to be thinking about ending your relationship or your marriage i see the wheel of fortune is in reverse and it is saying to you, I want to take you out of this relationship because it's not healthy. This is what is coming up. If you're in a relationship with an Aquarius or an, an Libra or a, a Cancer, I see they're going to be like shifting the energy to move you out where you're going to have to be making decisions. Okay. So I see a lot of decisions making about a house and uh, or an apartment but it has to do with money and it has to do with shared money then we see the ace of cups this is good twice the energy of the ace of cups so a lot of things is going to be coming in some of you are going to be having a baby but it's going to be coming from scissorian section okay and uh, um it's it's an eel and it's a beautiful baby that is going to come in but it's scissorian section and it could happen um on thursday now i see some of you had an issue at work uh, or an issue with your business i see you're protecting yourself you're going to be successful you're protecting your business you're protecting your work and you're protecting yourself and you're going to be extremely successful some of you are really having some issues on the work floor it could be with a cancer or a leo that you're trying to protect yourself from then we have the energy of justice comes up on an older man this older man is a pisces cancer or a squirt no this older man is a taurus virgo or a capricorn and his children so this could be the father of your children you could be getting divorced i see this man is trying to work against you however but he's connected to a pisces cancer or a scorpion this also could be an investigator that has been investigating your partner and this person knows more about what is going on um, with your partner. And I see that this person is going to create a way for you to find out that your partner is not really honest. Then we see the energy of the three of wands. And I see justice is going to be coming in on a Leo and an a, a Leo and an Aquarius. Justice is going to be coming in on a Leo and an Aquarius because they found out some lies and deceptiveness from these people. Okay. So this um um Aries man, um there's an Aries man and a Leo man that I see justice is coming down upon because yes, twice justice. So twice justice is going to be coming down and it's a judgment call with justice is going to be coming down on um on the energy twice justice is going to be coming down on some of you young aquarians and some of you older women 50 years and older i see justice is going to be coming down on the older women and uh, the young people between the ages of um 18 and 45 so I'm going to wish you guys a wonderful week. Let me know how your week of Valentine's go. I love you guys. Namaste.